welcome to a new episode of Versus, where we have two aircraft models going up against each other. And in today's episode we have two Airbus A220 300s, both of Egypt Air Express and in scale 200. Model number one is from Harpa Wings. The model was produced in the year 2020. I got it from a retailer at release for the price of 68 euros and 19 cents. Aircraft model number two is from JC Wings. This model was produced in 2019 but did just as the Harper model hit shelves in 2020 and I got it from a retailer at release for the price of 68 euros and 19 cents. The boxes have fairly different designs. Harper follows their trusted layout used on many occasions in their Scale 200 product line which features pictures of the aircraft in real life, the ability of opening a flap which not just reveals the model but also more detailed information about the aircraft and airline. The JC Wings box, in my opinion more aesthetically pleasing, offers an elaborate design incorporating both the airline's branding and renditions of the aircraft at the front and on the backside a visual representation of the original dimensions of the aircraft as well as a listing of that and other relevant information. The big difference to Halpa is however that this has simply been printed onto a cover. The model itself is contained in a simple white box. Both boxes are relatively equal in size, however the Halp box is slightly taller where the JC Wings box is a bit wider. Both models do also come with a stand. Harper has as usual opted for a stand made of plastic. It does need to be assembled which however is a rather foolproof system. A simple and rather lightweight plastic stand does however not seem to be quite appropriate for such a model. JC Wings provides a stand made out of metal which even has a little cushion preventing the model from getting scratches. However, this stand does also need to be assembled and due to a tiny and flimsy screw that honestly doesn't feel high quality, I don't fully trust the stand's ability to safely carry the model. Since I got both models at release and even from the same retailer, I was rather perplexed that these models would have the exact same price. So are these two models the same or are there differences? Now the first thing I would like to take a look at is if there is any height difference between the models. As they are both scale models of the A220-300, there shouldn't be any significant difference and when we look at the front, it does seem equal. Also at the tail of the aircraft, it does, within the margin of error, seem to be exactly the same height. So that's definitely a good start. But let us continue with our tour around the models and go a little bit more in depth. And we can start off by looking at the tail section of the aircraft and more specifically on the vertical stabilizer. Here we have the Egypt Air branding which looks rather equal both with Harpa and JC. When we look at the fuselage we have pretty much the same details both on Harpa and JC. The Egyptian flag, the web address, the full registration code. But there are some small differences. Because the JC Wings is definitely more correct with both font and color of the web address and the registration code. And also this little square red safety marking underneath the horizontal stabilizer is in real life red. With Harpa it's been printed in gray. A look at the horizontal stabilizer reveals that the printing here is rather equal. Where there is a bit more of a difference is actually the APU exhaust. Here I do prefer the look of the JC Wings model. At the front of the aircraft both models carry the Egypt Air and Star Alliance branding rather equally but there are some other significant differences. The aircraft type specification for example I would say is a little bit closer to reality with JC Wings. Also the fact that they have included some hatches just above the front landing gear is very nice. And also when it comes to sensors around the cockpit section JC Wings has an edge over Harper Wings. However when we then look at the radome or nose cone I don't know where JC Wings has found these lines, but they are definitely not there in reality. This part of the aircraft is just plain white. Other than that, these two models are rather similar with the cockpit windows, window wipers and emergency hatch above the cockpit windows printed on. If we then take a look at the engine nacelles, we can see that both have been given the silver leading edge, the Egypt air branding and some safety markings. Although here, again, JC Wings is a bit more refined, not just with the safety markings, but also because they have added some hatches. When it comes to the physical detailing, these two aircraft models go head to head. 
The only way to identify this as being the nacelle from the Helper Wings model would be to look at the print. This would also apply for the front view into the engines. I do prefer that the Helper has a darker grey tone for the fan blades compared to the almost black tone of JC Wings. However, I very much like that JC Wings has added a little printed detail to the spinner. When it comes to the landing gear, I kind of prefer Helper Wings, but I can't really tell you why. There's just something about the physical detailing that I do prefer with Helper Wings. However, what a surprise, JC Wings has added a little bit more printed details to the front landing gear. Both aircraft of course have the emergency exit printed on just above the wings. A look at the wings reveals that also here both manufacturers are doing rather well. Both wings of course have the different flap slats and spoilers carved out rather nicely. We have the markings as to where to walk on the wing and the marking for the emergency exit. We have slight differences in placement of these details but overall I would say both look rather decent. The same goes for the underside where we hear also with both cases have the full registration code of the aircraft once again. And the similarities continue, so it is no surprise that I randomly can exchange images of the JC Wings model and the Helper Wings model here without anyone being able to tell me which one is which. Where there, however, is a significant difference is when we look at the belly of the aircraft, the shaft or manhole or whatever it is called, the place where the landing gear is retracting into. Helper has printed that in white, where JC Wings has added some black. If we look at the top of the fuselage, we can see that both manufacturers have, of course, also added the set dome and various antennas. And while there might be some minuscule differences in the physical detailing of those, they are pretty much identical. A bit more interesting here is actually the fact that we of course have this little safety marking on the top of the fuselage. Helper has printed this both in the back and in the front of the aircraft. JC Wings has only applied it in the back of the aircraft. Now unfortunately a bird's eye view of an aircraft is rather difficult to find on the internet so I can't tell you which one is more correct but there is a difference here and that should be noted. Where there is also a big difference is that Harper Wings only prints the beacon lights where JC Wings actually adds a physical little piece, a little plastic stone that is reflective and that does look very nice especially when it is hit by light. And then lastly we do of course also have the doors to the cargo compartment and also here they are very similar. If anything I would say that JC Wings is a little bit more nimble in their print as lines seem to be slightly thinner. Now in conclusion we have two remarkably similar models in front of us. When it comes to print quality they really go head to head but I would give JC Wings a slight edge over Helper as lines generally are printed thinner and details are more abundant. What is interesting is that there is a tiny difference of the white tone of these models, where Harper has chosen a slightly colder tone. When looking for images of the aircraft, I can find images that would match both the tone of Harper as well as JC. So I can't say which one is more correct, as it simply depends on the light conditions. But as these models were filmed under the same light conditions, I can say that there definitely is a slight difference between the models. When it comes to the physical detailing, we are again faced with the choice of two very strong contestants. I like that JC Wings uses small reflective plastic stones for the beacon lights and the APU exhaust looks better compared with Helper. Nonetheless, Helper has done very well with this model. However, as soon as I want to praise Helper, the meme that is Helper's quality control hits us as the vertical stabilizer, well, isn't properly attached. It should, however, also be mentioned that one of the antennas of the JC Wings model also was loose. So, in a sense, both models are also here, following each other rather closely. I would be lying if I conclusively could say that I believe one model to be better than the other, but as you do get more printed details with JC, you do in a way get more for your money with JC Wings. But what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Now with that we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video then don't forget to leave a like, that would be very much appreciated. And of course if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe, that would be absolutely awesome. With that I'd like to say thank you very much for watching, hope to see you soon again, I'm checking out and bye.